Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dineo Rasidile. For those who are joining me for the very first time, welcome. For everybody who has been here before, has subscribed as part of the family, we are just over 200 subscribers. Cheers to you! I wanted to cheers um, with bu bubbles, you know, but like I haven't eaten. I'm so hungry, so I decided to make a smoothie. So we're having a chocolatey peanut buttery thick smoothie oh my gosh and it's so good okay so yes we are growing thank you so much guys for the support thank you for the love that you guys have shown especially after my last video a very beautiful and like highlight in my 2022 in my career being profiled by actor spaces and just having an epic shoot if you haven't yet please do check out the behind the scenes um footage of that from my last vlog and i mean if you want a front row seat on this journey become a vip and click that subscribe button so right after doing that vlog i realized so obviously you know I have this thing that shows you all the milestones that your channel is hitting. So after I hit the 200 subscribers milestone, I opened all my videos and I realized that 35 videos in since I started this channel and I haven't done any, like it's just been work, you know, work. It's been behind the scenes. It's been come to set with me, come to auditions, callbacks, let's, you know, acting tips, film fun facts, all these things work related. And like, I've never done something like chilled, fun, light, right? So I thought, you know, before we hit the ground running with the next phase, let me just chill out and do like just a light about me video. So I decided to do this assumptions tag and I put a sticker question thingamajig on my Instagram story and ask people what assumptions they have about me and now today i will be responding to those assumptions and hopefully at the end of this video you'll know a little bit more about me you'll see the lighter funner chilled outside of me because i promise you it's not all work and no play with me okay so let's get right into it first so the first assumption that i got was it says you can perfectly dance <laughs> And it's the perfectly for me, okay? So, I mean, I can dance, but I wouldn't say perfectly. So, like, if you give me choreography, I will do the most, okay? I will kill it. But if you play music and say dance, like, I, I go blank. I might hit, like, one or two, three popular moves, and then... I just move but I mean I won't embarrass myself so I can move I'm, I'm not I don't have two left feet definitely but choreo I'm your girl all right you huh you a loving individual who will mother my kids one day Yeah, ne? So the first part of this assumption is absolutely true. I am... Um, I am loving. I love hard. Absolutely, I love hard. As for the second part of mothering your kids, Anonymous... I'm gonna move along. <laughs> you are a cheese girl. <laughs> you know, I actually flipped through my Instagram profile and I was like, what of like my content is is giving cheese girl vibes? But then I was like, you know what? It can be deceiving, but I'm gonna break it down for you. So I well, and I hope you don't get me wrong. So I'm pretty adaptable. Like you can take me in. We can go to the rurals. We can go to the township. We can go, you know, the bougie suburbs. You can, and I'll have a good time at all those places, right? But like, I grew up in town, like in a suburb. In town, yes. So, <laughs> so I'm obviously accustomed to a certain lifestyle, right? But I'm not bougie, not by a long shot. 
what I do, right? Because I do enjoy nice things and I do like nice things, but I don't like breaking my bank, okay? Um, so I can create for myself, soft life for myself with the bare minimum. So even if I have like, my fridge is looking sad, like there isn't, you know, a lot happening in there, I can take whatever's in there and make it look freaking gourmet. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like I will, I will create soft life from whatever I have around me, I will make it comfy and cute and look good. So it's probably what you're seeing. But no, I wouldn't say I'm a cheese girl. <laughs> I hope that clears that up. Okay. You are short-tempered. Absolutely not. I am very patient. I'm a very patient person. Um, it takes a lot to get me to a point where like, I'm, I'm mad. Like, I'm upset, upset. And once I'm there, you will know that I'm upset. But even, but even like now, if I'm like incredibly angry, I still know what I need to do to just pull myself towards myself and then address the issue. So I don't just like say whatever or do whatever when I'm angry, but I'm not short tempered at all. Um, you are left handed. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm right handed. I have been all my life. This is my absolute favorite one of them all. Oh, and I think you knew it would be you are an amazing mom okay so I've, as i said all work and no play it's been for the past 35 videos so on this channel i've never mentioned that i'm a mom but i am a mom and it is literally my most favorite title role i'm gonna be cliche but <laughs> my favorite role my favorite thing to do is being a mom like it literally i always knew i always knew that it would be but it has literally been more than i ever expected like it i absolutely love it and i do believe i'm so confident that i'm doing the most yes this is a correct assumption i love it my fave okay lol i used to think you're in your 20s <laughs> am i even dineo rasadile if i do not have this chat every 24 to 48 hours. I mean, but no, I'm not in my 20s. I'm, my 20s are gone. <laughs> my 20s are officially gone. I have crossed over, um, but probably what you're seeing is because I have embraced my baby girl era. Um, I, it's my superpower that I am using to the ultimate, but no. I'm not in my 20s. <laughs> not an assumption, but a little crush I can't shake since the day we met. <laughs> call my number, call my I'm playing. Um, <laughs> I never know what to say when a person says they have a crush on me. Like, thank you. I don't know what to say. Um, and I'm not blushing. <laughs> you seem like a serious, no nonsense person. I mean, yes, I am a no nonsense person. Absolutely. That's the one thing I do not have patience for is nonsense, BS. And just like, yeah, I, I do have zero patience for no nonsense. But I want to say serious. Do you know, actually, I was watching the vlog that I posted last week. And I know, I'm aware of it, that when I'm not smiling or when I'm focused and I'm thinking, I tend to have, a, they call it a resting bitch face. I mean, I don't like that phrase, but it's out there and it's the best way that I can describe it. But there's a scene where um, the creative director, Mudise, is showing me um, reference photos of what we're about to take. And my face! I'm looking like I'm so angry and so unimpressed. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm just like, oh my gosh, we're about to shoot such amazing stuff. And as soon as I speak, you know, that's what comes out. But like, 
when I was focused and watching it, I'm just like, oh, as I was editing, I was like, why do I look so mad? I look like I'm about to punch someone in the face. But no, I'm not. I'm not serious at all. I know that my face can look very serious at times when I'm, when I'm deep in thoughts or when I'm focused or whatever. But no, I'm not. I've had people literally say, I saw you and I wanted to come say hi, and, but you looked like you were not having it and i'm just like oh my gosh you should have said hi you will literally be greeted with like the warmest you know smile hugs whatever i'm super chilled guys i am literally chilled vibes okay you are very secretive i'm playing i'm playing but Am I secretive? I don't think I'm secretive. I know that I am very private. Do I go out of my way to hide stuff? I do do that sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I think it's because I'm really, really private. And I'm from a very, even my family, like, I get it from home as well. Like, we're very private. We don't like put our business in the streets. So now it's also tricky for me to navigate, like, being in the industry that I am and also being afraid of the media. The media is not your best friend, okay? You gotta be smart. Because one day you are the darling, you're being celebrated, you know, they are saying all these nice things about you, digging up all this information and putting it out there. And then the next day, one small, small thing, and you are like, they will chew you up and spit you out like yesterday it didn't happen. So I think that's another thing of mine, you know? I, I, I have a very small circle of friends. I have, you know, people that I'm really close to that will know, that I will share stuff with. But I wouldn't say I'm secretive. I'm very private, yes. And when it's time for you to know stuff, if you need to know stuff, you will know the stuff. Um, is that you have a boyfriend, L-M-A-O-O. -O. <laughs> you think I have a boyfriend? Why? What in my content is giving Taken vibes? That is concerning. This assumption concerns me. Because if you think I have a boyfriend, I mean, this was sent by a lady. <laughs> but like, she thinks I have a boyfriend. Do other people think I have a boyfriend? Do potential suitors think I have a boyfriend? Because if they think I have a boyfriend, then they're not going to hit me up. For real, real. What is giving off Taken vibes? Am I glowing? Like, am I? <laughs> On that note, um, thank you so much for playing along. Uh, shout outs to all my Instagram, my Instagram circle for participating and giving me these um, assumptions. It was, it was so much fun. And I had a good laugh with some of them. Um, I'll do this again soon not an assumptions tag but just another challenge let me know in the comment section if there's any like youtube challenge that you think i should um try out on the next um, milestone but, so yeah thank you so much for hanging out guys i had so much fun with this one absolutely looking forward to the next do click that, that notification bell to make sure you do not miss it and i will see you on the next video